So I've just got back from Elland Road, didn't really get a chance to record my reaction like I usually do um, after the game, but I wanted to talk a little bit about what happened in the game because it wasn't as sort of straightforward as you might think. There were, there were a few issues that I still think are going to be a problem for us this season. And I think they can be solved in the transfer market, so I really hope we move um, before the transfer window closes. Now, the only major area of concerns are for me are the fullbacks. Um, Rasmus, in, in stages, made some really good tackles, some game-saving challenges, um, played some good passes through, but there were also moments where he did things that were really sloppy and he gave the ball away, even in our own box, uh, which never led to a goal, but it's, the signs are there that he can be a little bit sloppy, but that might just take a little bit of time for him to get used to the league, so we'll bear with him on that one. On the other side, obviously, Pascal Straub. Now, Pascal Straub is not a left-back. He's playing there and he's doing an okay job there, but today I think he had a bit of a stinker. Uh, there were a lot of times where, with the ball, he really wasn't that great. Uh, he kept giving it away, and it's understandable because he's a centre-back. But he did keep giving the ball away, and it wasn't good for, for our build-up and our stages of play where we were trying to create things. When you have a player that then gives the ball away and you're starting to go back again towards your own goal. So I think the left-back position definitely needs to be addressed now. Junior Firpo isn't that bad at going forward. He's actually okay and his delivery is quite good. But I do think we need competition for him, not just backup. When I say competition, I mean somebody who's actually going to challenge him for his place and probably make Firpo himself play better. Other than that, though, we showed that we can create chances and we actually showed that we can be quite resilient. Um, there was a period where Wolves just turned into Man City and we just had the ball for about 10 minutes and we just couldn't get it off them. Um, but we didn't concede in that period, which is a really, really promising sign because I think last season under Bielsa, we probably would have conceded in, the, in those moments. Um, trying to be too open and expansive when sometimes there are times when you need to be a little bit more pragmatic and you need to sit in and actually defend and I think we did that well today and then we uh, we broke on the counter-attack. We created plenty of crossing opportunities. Um, Jack Harrison, Brendan Aronson all put in really, really good balls across the face of Jose Sarr's goal and we had the chances. In the first half there was the one that spanned past the posts. Uh, and I think Rodrigo and Bamford nearly got on the end of it, but couldn't quite. But the signs are there that we're going to create a lot more chances. So I'm really happy with how many chances we actually created. And in the end, finishing two of them was enough today. Brendan Aronson got his debut goal. He was really, really good today. To be honest, I wouldn't have taken him off. Uh, Marsh took him off near the end and brought on Somerville. I wouldn't have taken Brendan Aronson off. I think he was one of our shining lights in there. And he also took Mark Rocker off for Sam Greenwood, which I think at that stage in the game was fair enough. Um... But I did think Mark Rocker had an OK game, despite the fact that he'd given the ball away a couple, of, a couple of times. But you have got to give these signings a little bit of time to adapt to the league and the pace of things, really. Because, obviously, playing in different leagues, it's just not the same pace as the Premier League. It's one of the quickest leagues in the world, if not the quickest. And so you have to make those decisions that you've been making in those other leagues faster. And you have to make that... Uh, uh, and you have to have... This is basically... This is basically... Well, be basically two steps ahead uh, and thinking in what you're going to do next uh, before you've even received the ball. Uh, so I think the, they did okay today, but they could do better. Brendan Aronson, though, probably my man of the match. I think he dictated everything well in there. And it was nice for us, even though he didn't score, to have the focal point of Bamford being up front again. Um, and he nearly did score with that header, which uh, Jose Sarr was able to pull off a really, really good save. The only other major thing I want to talk about is the penalty shout and I think that really really was a penalty from where I was sitting and actually I think I got it in the footage that you've seen before this bit Jose Sarr comes out to claim the ball but the ball goes all the way over and Rasmus Christensen wins the header clearly and cleanly wins the header and then Jose Sarr completely takes him out uh, and it gets nowhere near the ball so for me it's a stonewall penalty I don't understand why VAR didn't go back but these are the sorts of things that you'd dwell on if we didn't actually win the game. But we've got the three points. And that is something that's massively important because last season it was so long before we actually were able to get a victory that that started to creep into players' minds and, and their psyche. And it just wasn't good for morale. So I think the fact that we have got three points on the board so early in the season is really, really good for us. Uh, and I think that's going to be excellent taking it into the next games against Southampton and Everton. So thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of a fan's pitch side perspective. New place where I've not I've been there. 
for the Burnley game last season, but it was a bit further down in the northeast corner. Didn't like it as much because it wasn't standing up for the whole game, so hopefully next time in the Everton game I can get in the cock or the cheese wedge, uh, and because that's where I like to go mainly. And I think feel like the atmosphere is better there, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time on Leeds Lately.